Welcome to the next Code Blocks tutorial. Today we're going to be building a rocket. This will be the first time we're trying to actually make the blocks actually do anything or make it look like anything. So let's get started. We're going to start off with changing the name. Now I'm going to change this to Rocket, which probably isn't the right thing to call this, but that's what I'm calling it, Rocket. I'd like you to call it CB5 Rocket. And we're going to start off with a cylinder. I know that's a big surprise. We never do that. And we're going to move it. Hopefully by now, you know where we're going to move it straight up. And I believe it's 10. Let's see if that's what works here. It's been a while. Let's play. Wow. That's great. Okay. We need to stretch this out to make it look more like a rocket. So we're going to scale this. Now let's try 30 and see what happens. Wow, that's probably too big. See, let me take it back here to reset this. With the scale, what I did mention before was that when you change this to two, it actually makes it two of the cylinders, one on top of the other. If you change it to three, it actually makes three of them. So I'll be happy with three and let's run this. But I want you to notice something. It grew both up and down the positive of the Z and the negative of the Z. So we're going to have to move it up again. So let's move this. I'm guessing 30. Let's see if that works. By the way, when you're making your skyscraper, by the way, that's what you're making. You're going to have to play around with the numbers to make sure they work too. Okay. So that worked. Let's get a cone up here. Where's the cone? Oh, there it is. When you're making your skyscraper, you're going to start with a block, a red block. Okay. Now the cone, it's going to be here. We're going to need to move it up. I know already. Let me just duplicate this one. Whoa, the whole thing duplicated. What? All right. That's too much power for one person. And let's run it. Let's see what we get here. Okay. That's good. Not high enough. Let's try oops, 60. And let's go. Looks like 60 is not enough. Let's try 70. It looks like we're almost there. Just needing a little bit more. And we're good. Now I want these to, to be groups. So let me go ahead and put the group thing here. Group. Oh, there it is. When you're making yours, you're going to need a block. And at the very top, you're going to need a pyramid to make it look like a skyscraper. All right, there you go. That is now grouped. Now for this one, we're going to add a star. That's a star. And I believe the star needs to be moved up too. Let me, let me check. There you go. That goes up star. Yeah, that looks kind of wrong. All right. So let's move it up. And I'm guessing that does not look like, oh, wrong one. That does not look like 10 because it's not as thick as the other one. So I'm going to go with five. Again, these are things that you're going to have to play with when you're making yours, your design. All right, good. But it's too fat. No offense. I'm not trying to judge it or anything, but it's a little too fat, too thick, if you will. So we're going to scale this. Now it's fat in that direction or it's thick in that direction. So instead of going to zero, I'm going to go 0.5 because that's about half. And let's see, that's exactly half technically still too thick and it moved up some more. So let's keep that at zero. Let's see if that works. And here, let's make that point two. again. I'm playing with two variables at the same time. I really don't like that, but let's see what, what happens with it. Ooh, look at that. It's still underneath. I personally don't like that. So we're going to move this up one. Wow, that looks good. But we're gonna add some complication to this. I want some sort of ramp for people to walk up there. And with you, you're gonna make a little tiny door at the base of your skyscraper, which is a large building. And for me, I'm gonna use a wedge. There you go. And well, let's see what the wedge gives us. Probably gonna have to move it up. Should I just go ahead and move it up? I don't know, let's just, let's just move it. Let's see what happens. 
Mm-hmm. Star does that. Yep. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to move it up at least 10, but let's see what we got here. Oh, we're doing a lot of moving here, and we're going to move it up to Z at first, but I have a feeling we're going to have to move it up many times. All right, so what I want to do is rotate it to for it to face the opposite direction. Let's just remember the red is X, that's Y, and that is Z going straight up. So let's go ahead and rotate this. Where's my rotate? And I believe it's the Y that I want to change it because I want to go from there to there facing me by 90. And let's play that. <laughs> that did not work. Let's try the X now. And that's part of coding is you got to try and see if it if it actually works because you have your idea in your head, but then there's the actual moving. Look at that. That's where I want it. I just wanted maybe, let's see. I believe these are going by 10 down here. So I want 10, 20. I'm going to move this forward 20 on the Y. I wanted to go Y forward 20. All right, there it is going up. Got the star, flatten it, that. Now forward, forward. <gasps> I went back. Oh, I forgot. For the Y, that's positive, and this direction is negative. How can I make that mistake? Let's go ahead and run it. That's good, only I want this to be thinner because. We're not trying to move cars in here. We just want uh, people to be able to walk in there. So let's change the scale on this. And I want it to be this direction. This is the X and I want it to be thinner than this. So let's go with 0.2 on the X. So let's do that. And it rotates there. This is what I want. Now I'm going to change this color, but your skyscraper is going to be gray. This one is going to be white. So let's change the color. Actually, I only want this part to be white. So let's change set color to the, after I group it, I want it to be white. And let's see how that looks. Uh, reset. Yeah, for you, your pyramid and your base of the skyscraper, which is a cube, should be gray. I like the way this looks. Actually, I want the the pyramid, or I'm sorry, the wedge, I think that's called, to be gray. Very similar to your, see, for your skyscraper, I want the door to be darker gray than the building itself. That way you can tell it's a door. And please make it look like a door. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna change the color to this one, to dark. Well, let's make it a regular gray. And that is acceptable to me for right now. This is a very basic rocket. I'm gonna share it, but for you, when you're sharing it with me, make sure in the email you have uh, in the subject line, it's a CB5. CB5, don't put the word rocket, just CB5. Look at that, I'm ready to go. We've made our first rocket. All right, have a good day.